doesn't seem like a fair fight. New homeowners in a defective house forced to take on a big time builder with deep pockets. Well, they got a settlement, but don't feel like they won. So now they are sharing their story as a warning. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears exposes some potential home buying pitfalls. I'll show you downstairs. Take a tour of James Munoz's new house. The doors don't stay open. And you might find more wrong than right. And then this is the infamous area where the pipe is. It was supposed to be a dream home, built brand new. This didn't get fixed either. No. But none of this was part of that dream. I have anything but quality, I feel. And because of stuff like this, and this, and this, he opened his doors to our cameras. I feel the public has a right to know what's going on. If this is happening to me, who else is this happening to? He and his partner posted about their home on Facebook and got comments from many others in their Inspirata community who had similar issues with a variety of builders. That everything's being thrown up too fast. People are not taking accountability for their actions. They've lost track of building quality products for families and that they have just thrown things together to move on to the next project. It, it's pretty much a nationwide problem. Certified Inspector Bill Loden is a former president of the American Society of Home Inspectors. The stronger the market is, the more difficult it is to have, uh, you know, enough, I guess, qualified or skilled workmen in the field. Uh, we have a shortage. James says his new home is unfortunately a perfect case in point. We have wood that's been chipped or broken. Big holes, cracked beams, things he says were not fixed because the builder told him they weren't structural issues. Bill Loden reviewed James's photographs and said those types of things should be replaced. But the problem is... Is when everybody's in a hurry, they will just uh, oftentimes just try to cover it up or go on without taking the time to, to make a necessary repair. We asked Bill if he would live in a house with this type of lumber used as the frame. Oh, absolutely not. You want a, you want a house that the uh, structure is adequate. James says negligence during construction was evident in other areas as well. Empty beer cans we found throughout the property and they found these same beer cans underneath our stairs when they opened up the wall. They found chicken bones too. It can be a health concern. If some type of organic material is left in the walls, uh, that is definitely a, a, a potential for bringing in insects and rodents. They moved in last August and the builder had to tear into walls just three months later in November because black mold began creeping up walls and corroding carpets. Was it toxic mold? What kind of mold was it? And I asked the builder what kind of mold and they won't they won't answer me. This is where the downstairs closet used to be and it's where the problem with the mold originated. This closet rack here was drilled into the wall and into a drain pipe that caused water to leak and ultimately mold to grow. The leaking sewage water also affected the closet under the stairs. I bought a new home thinking I would never have to deal with something like that. I understand things can happen, but this is more than unacceptable in my opinion because somebody was negligent. His immediate concern Show how they talk. was for his family's health. I have, you know, my young kids. I have six small children. Um, I am a foster parent. And so, of course, I was worried. The builder did some repair work, but James says that too was substandard. Something he says the builder acknowledged in this email, which says, it looks like our trades could and should have done a better job on the repairs. Moving wasn't really an option for this family of eight, so James eventually accepted a settlement that includes a non-disclosure agreement. Turns out it's fairly common in disputes like this. Uh, some of the larger national builders set, a, uh, set aside millions of dollars to uh, to handle situations like this, to uh, to pay out uh, uh, grievances, to you know try to uh, 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 work out a solution, a monetary solution, rather than actually building the house correctly to begin with. Because the company made good on its settlement, we've chosen not to name it. Bill Loden cautions you shouldn't confuse settlement with solution. Just because someone accepts a financial settlement 
doesn't mean that everything has been corrected. It doesn't mean that the new homeowner has been made whole. It just means that he has reached a point where he has to uh, either uh, take their settlement or walk away from the house. We've got more advice from our expert and tips on how home buyers can protect themselves on our website at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.